It is kind of amazing that our, our educations <laughs> made us know these things offhand without having to look at notes. Hello everyone and welcome back for another Monday video. I'm gonna be looking at the camera and also a little below the camera because I am here with my friend. Awesome. It's Jeffrey James. Chaboy. But you should you should already know. You should already know that's band. his name. Jeff and I are a little tipsy right now. We're both over 21, so if you're under 21, don't drink. Early and Erin are YouTubers that did this that I thought was such a fun thing to do during COVID. And like Jeff and I have been looking forward to this all week. Where we tipsy play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? What were you learning in fifth grade? Do you remember? I, I learned earth science in fifth grade. So I was learning <laughs> about the different kinds of rocks, like sedimentary. You learned Sediment. about sedimentary rocks in fifth grade? Yeah. I learned like about that freshman year of college. <laughs> I am going to lose this game. Basically what we're doing is we're drinking and answering these questions. There's different categories. So it's first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade, and then history, English and lit, geography, science, and math. So basically Jeff and I are just gonna pick one and we're both using two different websites to like quiz each other on. And if we get it wrong, we have to drink. And this is basically it. We're gonna see who's a better, smarter than a fifth grader. Harder, better, faster, stronger <laughs> than a fifth grader. Greater. Harder, better, faster, stronger, smarter than a fifth grader. Smarter Actually, that's a really good mashup. Is a DJ somewhere, this is free. <laughs> yes! Um, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Uh, harder, better, faster, strong. Wait, give me first grade, first grade math. The first day of the 20th century was... Well, okay, the 20th century is 1900, so January 1st, 1900? Absolutely correct. Oh, yes! Weirdly worded. It is weird, yeah. Mm, I love that you you're drinking that? something from a glass that could just be apple juice, and I'm like, there's no way I could fake this. <laughs> this is 100% actual apple juice. I tricked you. This is all a trick. I walk into traps all the time, um, like bear traps, but also like emotional traps with friends. Right, I had right. Two shots and half a beer. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you feel sorry for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your first grade uh, subject you want? History, English, and lit. Geography, science, math. Which, by the way, why is geography a, its own section? Geography. <laughs> Which country are the famous pyramids of Giza? Egypt. Right. Is that how you say Giza? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I never took a geography class. <laughs> <laughs> I could see in your eyes, like, do I say this or? <laughs> are there people that live near the pyramids? I actually have no idea. I, I, think, I thought, I the, pyra I thought the pyramids were like in the middle of nowhere, like in the desert. This is very near a city. Oh. It's very near Cairo, but it's on the outskirts. This is very interesting. Give me signs, second grade. All right, you sure? Uh, These are gimmies. <laughs> they're gimmies. It's second grade, Jeff. I hope. I <laughs> These okay. collect energy from the movement of air. These collect these objects, these things collect energy from the movement of Atoms? air. Atoms? No, no, no. Is that your final answer? Um, something collects movement from air. Don't think on a molecular level. Oh, like like a wind mill. <laughs> That no. question is so awfully worded. And the show is supposed to make adults look dumb. Return Jeff. Science. Science. Just, just because I'm gonna get it wrong. Look, like you won't. What gas do plants breathe in that humans and animals breathe out? Gas? Yeah. Really? Jeff, you really should, like, I know, I know. Sort of uh, No, carbon, carbon dioxide. There you go. Boom, boom. We're smart. We're second level smart. No one smart. will ever know how close I was to almost saying carbon monoxide. You know what I think of a lot? Lines on roads. Sometimes when I'm driving, I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> like a five... <laughs> <laughs> like a five lane highway? We are being controlled by paint? <laughs> it's like when you look at the inside of a beehive and you're like, how do these... Bees figure it out. One of you Whatever looked inside power. of a beehive. You know what? I don't want to be lambasted <laughs> live on air. You don't have geography? What are, a history. Give me history. Julius Caesar was the emperor of what empire? Roman. Correct. So, English. English for fifth? Or for third? I feel like you actually might not get this, to be honest. We'll know in a few seconds how insulting that sentence is. <laughs> Got it. 
Adding conjunctions such as and or but turns a simple sentence into what type of sentence? Compound. That's right. Yeah, thank you. Um, I took my hand off my face. There's like pen ink of like all the answers. <laughs> I wrote them on my like hand. compound. What is that there? <laughs> What's that on your face? Oh, this is a tattoo. This Fourth grade, grade English and lit. Okay, I'm gonna stump you. Here. Oh no. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm to the preposition. I'm ready. In the following sentence. The preposition? Okay. The pretty calico sat on the kitchen table. On. Correct. Um, <laughs> Why did you think a preposition would stump me? Are you smarter <laughs> than a fourth grader? That was the show that would have been canceled after the pilot. Fourth <laughs> is cacophonous when compared to fifth. <laughs> Are you smarter than a fourth grader? Oh. How's this? Oh my gosh. Very TikTok. Let's go math. Let's math, go math for fourth grade? Wow. You have 20 pairs of shoes. <laughs> Keep that in mind. But there's only room in your closet for eight shoes. How many shoes do you have to get rid of? Do you want me to say it again? No, I heard, I heard <laughs> you. I'm just trying to... It is, it's tricky. I start with 20. 20 pairs of shoes, but there's only room in with, your closet for I eight. I have to end with eight? No, no, no. You have 20 pairs of shoes, but there's only room in your closet for eight shoes. Based on like which shoes I prefer. It is based on that. Tell me the um, shoes you're keeping and then you can give me the answer. Obviously I'm keeping the Jordans. Verse just as kind of an everyday wear. Yeah. I, 12 is my final answer. I don't even know where you got 12. Oh, 20 minus eight is 12. No, you're fully wrong. I have 20 and I only have room for eight. I need to get rid of 12. There are 20 pairs of shoes, which means there are 40 shoes. But you only have room in your closet for eight shoes. So you have to get rid of 32 shoes, which is 16 pairs. You did not. I did! This is embarrassing. You're not smarter if than a fourth grader. <laughs> I'm not, I guess I'm not smarter than a, a smart ass fourth grader who's trying to trick me. Yeah. Can you say how many shoes you, you have? have? 20, you don't say 40. Uh, but in the question, it says you have 20 pairs of shoes, but there's only I, room in your closet I for eight myself, shoes. I, I screwed myself over on that question because I was trying to make it a bit for the video. I, there was f two minutes that went by of me trying to think of what was the funniest thing and I yeah. forgot the wording of the initial question. Me fifth grade math, baby. 35 times 20. That's it? That's the question? 35 question. times 20 equals mm -hmm. blank? 700. 680. 35 times 20? Me, Excuse me. Thirty-four times twenty. I said thirty-five times twenty. That's it. I am drunk. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Fifth grade correct. history. The modern day city of Ist Istanbul was known by what name in the thirteenth century? Constantinople. Shout out to <laughs> Mr. Lewis. I'm truly blown away. Oh, I, I say we both did pretty well on this, by the way. Like, even though we're both drunk by this point, like, we did a good job. I'm embarrassed. Why? For sure. Why? I feel like we didn't get anything wrong. You got two wrong out of five. <laughs> you got a question right because I asked it wrong. Might have said 35 times 20. Re if I did, rewind the tape, put it right here in the edit. 35 times 20. That's it? Thank you so much, Jeff, for joining me. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you think you'd be smarter than a fifth grader. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I post a video every single Monday and on Fridays I post tier list videos. All of his social media will be in the description. He has a podcast with our friend Riley called Review Review that you should totally check out. I don't think it's that worth it to follow me on anything, but um, yeah. It's not worth it. Yeah. I unfollowed him on everything a while ago. He <laughs> Wait, gets it. really? You're my friend though. <laughs> That really hurts. Yeah, no, Anne. I still unfollowed you on everything. I, you, I'm sorry. We'll, ta we'll talk about this when I cut. Um, is, thank you guys so much for right. watching, and I'll see you guys oh, on Friday. Boom, boom, bye. You got me drunk. You got me drunk.